Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you effects or effects plugins in Reaper. I have a track set up here and I want to add an effect to it. We can go right here to the effect button and click it. And that opens up the effects browser right here. We could choose our effects for this track. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. And we can filter them by going down over here to our filter and typing in a word like EQ. And now only the plugins with EQ in their name show up. Or compressor, or dynamics, making it easier to find our effects. We can clear the filter and also see it based on the type of plugin like VST, AU, JS, just the instrument plugins or the Reaper plugins. And if you want to open the effects browser without hitting the effects button, you can just go to the view menu and choose it right here, effects browser. We'll use the keyboard shortcut, Shift F. And that's going to open up the browser based on the last track we selected. So you could select this track, hit Shift F, it opens up that browser. Or if we don't select the track and open it up, we can just drag and drop any effect we want. Let's grab the EQ and drop it on this track. And that adds the EQ plugin to this track. Let's delete it and go back to our browser because we could also see our plugins based on categories, based on what they do, the developers, the company that makes them, our effects chains, which we'll go over in a bit, and some folders that we can create. It starts off with a favorites folder, so we can drag in our favorite plugins to this folder. Let's go to the Reaper ones, choose re-EQ, Reverb, Recomp, and Regate, and just drag them to this folder. Now we can go to the favorites and see our favorite plugins in that folder. But we could also create as many folders as we want. Just right click over here and add a folder. And we could also use smart folders. Let's say we want to create a folder for our Stillwell plugins. Let's name it. Then we can make it a smart folder and put in a filter of Stillwell, create it. Then all the plugins with Stillwell in their name are going to show up in this folder automatically. And if we add new plugins with that name in them, they're automatically going to be added to this folder. And we can delete our folders by right clicking and removing them right here. So let's open up. An EQ on this track. We'll go to the Reaper plugins and choose Re EQ, which is the EQ plugin that comes with Reaper. Just double click it. Now that effect is on this track. And the section over here is called the effects chain. Over here we see our effect and we could adjust it. But over here we could see the list of plugins on this track. So let's add a few more. Set a compressor and a gate. And now we can change the order of our plugins on this track right over here. Let's start with the gate, then the compressor, then the EQ. And we can select them and then adjust each plugin over here, one at a time. And we could also bypass each plugin right here by checking and unchecking these boxes. Now we could also float these plugins so each one will have their own window. Let's double click the gate and the compressor and the EQ, close the browser, and now we could organize these windows so we can see all of them at the same time. That's known as floating. But we can close them and open them up again 
and put it back so you can see the chain over here with the effects over here. Now we can also save our chains. Let's say we created our settings for our gate with the attack and release, adjust our compressor, our ratio, and our EQ. Let's say we're happy with this effects chain. We want to use it again. We could right click over here, go to effects chains, and save all effects as chain. Or just select a few we want to save and right click that and just save selected effects as a chain. But I'm going to save them all as a chain. And it's going to save it in our effects chains folder. Let's give it a name and save it. And now we could delete all these plugins and open up that effects chain by double clicking, go to effects chain and finding it right here. And if we open it up, it adds all the plugins with their settings the way we saved it. Very helpful. So let's delete these effects. And we could also add effects to our tracks by right clicking the button. We can see recently used, categories, developers, our effects chains, and our favorites, and any other folders we create. Let's choose our effects chain from here. And when the effects are already on this track, they're going to show up if we right click the button right in the top over here. And they're going to float if we choose them one by one. Here's our gate. Here's our compressor, and here's the EQ. So we can choose our effects just by right-clicking the effects button to see them or add new ones down here. Now we could also bypass our plugins on this track by hitting this button. It's green when there's effects on the track. Hit this button, it turns red, and it bypasses those effects. So we're not going to hear effects on this track. Hit it again, and the effects turn back on. We can also delete the effects with a modifier. On PC, it's Alt, and on Mac, it's Option. Just click the button, and it turns gray, letting us know there's no plugins on this track. So we deleted them or removed them. But let's put back the effects chain. And we could also copy or move our effects from track to track. Let's create another track down here. And let's duplicate our effects to this track. We can drag and drop our gate. And that puts the gate on this track. But we still have our gate and the rest on this track. Let's duplicate the compressor and the EQ. And now both tracks have all of the effects. Or we can move them instead. Let's delete all these. Let's move the compressor to this track. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and drag it over. And now we moved the compressor to this track. It's no longer on this track. So we can move them or just copy them like this. Now we could also copy them when the effects chain window is closed. Let's delete the effects on here. Let's close this and let's copy these effects to this track. Just drag it and drop them right here. Now all those effects are duplicated to this track. Or we could move them with the modifier. Let's delete it here. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just move it from this track to this track. Now they're over here instead. And we could do a lot of the same things in the mixer. Here's our two tracks, and here's the effects on those tracks. We could delete each effect, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, one at a time. 
we could open them up or float them one at a time from here. Open up the plugin chain from here. Bypass it or delete it or right click and add it again. And all those effects are back on this track. We could copy them from one to the other by dragging one at a time or all together from here to here. We could move them one at a time, alt on the PC, option on the Mac. And we could also bypass each one of them at a time by holding down shift. See how the color changes? Letting us know this effect is bypassed. One at a time, we'll do them all together right here. Now everything we're doing in this video is based on the track effects. The effects that are on the track after the audio. So it's non-destructive. So they're not being recorded with the effect. We could always change them afterwards. But if you want to print the effect on the way in, you could put the effects on the input effects. And we could see that by going to record. And here's the input effects button. We could open it up just like the other one. It opens up our browser just like before. So we could choose our effects from here. Now, this effect is on the input effects, not the track effects. So if we record any audio to this track, this effect is going to be printed with that audio. That's destructive, as opposed to the track effects, which are not printing the effects. So we can always change those afterwards. So that's pretty much it. That's the effects or effects plugins in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.